There are not many countries today who have still the ability to go to these two capitals, talk to the two leaders and then go back to the other one with that. We are not promising anything, we are not suggesting we have some grand bargain or a peace plan. We are simply trying to do something helpful, reflecting the widespread anxiety in the world that this conflict is actually making everybody's life very difficult. We do not believe that we are actually from the battlefield going to get uh, a decisive outcome. So if you take two, then three years, if you are not going to get a decisive outcome, at some point, in some form, there has to be a negotiation. If there is a negotiation, whenever we get there, then obviously there has to be some preparation or some exploration and some, some communication between the parties concerned, which is primarily Russia and Ukraine. So with these propositions in mind, uh, we started uh, after, in this third term, uh, some explorative discussions. Uh, it started between Prime Minister Modi and President Zelensky, first in Italy, in Puglia, on the sidelines of the G7. Uh, then, uh, during Prime Minister Modi's visit to, uh, to uh, Moscow. Uh, then, uh, uh, after that, the trip that we made to Kiev. Uh, after which our national security advisor went back to Moscow, after which Prime Minister met Zelensky uh, last week in New York. And in between, you know, um, at different levels, uh, I or my, our national security advisor or some other people, we keep talking to both sides as well. We are very, mm, you know, measured and uh, circumspect about what we are doing. We are not uh, hyping it. Uh, our effort is to have communications, take anything of interest that we have a conversation, take anything of interest we hear to the other side, uh, communicate that in good faith. If there are reactions or ideas on that side, take it back. We're not, you know, it's, it's really, uh, the intent is to be helpful. Uh, and uh, the, to some extent, I mean, if we have to keep other people sort of uh, uh, informed, uh, I mean, where, where it is necessary, we, we do that as well. So, uh, we, there are not many countries, look, we are into a third year of a war. There are not many countries today who have still the ability to go to these two capitals, talk to the two leaders, and then go back to the other one with that. I think in any conflict, if the intention at some point is to end the conflict, uh, it is such, such endeavors are useful. I would say they're even laudable. Uh, so, uh, we, you know, but uh, again, please do understand we are not promising anything. We're not suggesting we have some grand bargain or a peace plan. We are simply trying to do something helpful, reflecting the widespread anxiety in the world that this conflict is actually making everybody's life very difficult.